past Cleary. Bowles Reed gets a wide delivery and drives it magnificently in front of point down to the boundary rope for four. Fulton this time. Drives nicely through the covers, timed it beautifully. Placement was excellent down to the boundary rope for four. That is a terrific shot. Meg Blanning and she was a great performer. Heschel's got it right this time. Short, pulled away, great shot. Behind square leg out in the deep for four. Second boundary of the over. Sure Gags will do that. Driven nicely by Nicole Fulton between cover and mid off and that should get to the rope. It will. Yep. Nicole steps away, gives herself room and whacks that one. Over the rope for six, takes full toll with that free hit. Goes the ramp, gets all of it as well. Two bounces and over the rope for four. So an expensive over for Peschel. Some inventive play from Nick Fulton. Really stopped any momentum. This is a shorter delivery. Worked away on the leg side. The chase is on, but I don't think they'll get there. Four runs. Fuller delivery worked on the leg side and through. That's a misfield and it's going to be an expensive one. Another four runs. This time through mid wicket for Reed. This one's outside off and driven away beautifully through the cover point. That's another four runs and another expensive over for WA. A good over for Victoria. Great temperament. Was there, was certainly stood out. This one swept away nicely by Sophie Reed. She would pick up a boundary. Pounced on that ball with a little bit of width on the leg side. Controlled it. In and around that off stump on a foolish length. And that's exactly where it is. And beautifully played by Nicole Fulton. Straight back down the ground. A straight drive. Here. Oh, that's through. They weren't sure if they were going to get a single there, but they've ended up with a four. The Victorians. Just outside off. Well driven. There's a fielder out at deep cover. It's a fair bit of work they have to do, and it's too much. Matilda Carmichael, four runs. Oh, they could see girls here. Short ball, pulled away nicely. Should make the rope, and it does. Despite a good effort down on the boundary by Matilda Carmichael. Nicole Fulton picks up another half century with that beautiful blow through mid wicket. It's a third 50 for the summer. Edged! Oh, and it just avoids gully. She'll get another boundary. Does Nicole Fulton. It was a little bit streaky. It was beautiful. Boundaries to Sophie Reed. She's getting close to this. She's on 45. A big shout for LBW, and that is out. Fulton just misjudged that a whisker. It was a little bit quicker. Caught her on the back foot, and Edgar gets the breakthrough. It's one for 110. Coaching. He loves it, doesn't he? He's yeah. got that bounce in his step. Absolutely. This is a nice little lap shot there by Sophie Reed, and that will bring up a half century to Sophie Reed. Just to keep that stripe rotating. And short up, pulled away. Carmichael with a bit to do and some seagulls to negotiate. A fine effort, but unable to keep it in front of her. Bounces over her body and goes for four on WA. Again, full of flat up. And really well worked down to third. That's going to trickle away for four. That's really well placed by Soph Reed. And Henry this time gets a full delivery and drives nicely between cover and mid off for four. Beautifully played by Olivia Henry. Mills tosses up. Oh, that might be close. The sweep shot, and that is out. So Reed just misjudged length on that occasion. And it's back-to-back -back wickets here for WA, Victoria 3 for 177. Hayward's on strike. And Hayward thrashes a good catch! Taken there by Chloe Paparo. It was low to the ground. She moved to her right-hand side. Stay turning the strike over. And as we see, Flintoff comes down the wicket to that one. But I get... And it has been given. I just paused there. I didn't see the finger go up from square leg, but she has been stumped. Tess Flintoff. That's two.
turn sharply. Well bowled from Becker. Gets through Tiana Atkinson and Victoria. She struck that out on the leg side. She's picked the gap perfectly between the two fielders out in the deep. Has McKenna. And a very handy four runs. Head cup just pushes that one. A big shout. And that is out. So LBW just playing across it. This time Reese McKenna tried to work it a little bit too fine. Here is Carmichael back in and a hint of that and almost a wicket. Mills diving away there at point. Couldn't get a hand on it and it runs away to the boundary for four runs. So almost. Yeah, really enjoying it. This one's in the air and again it's got between the gap and again it will run down to the deep third boundary for four. So more experienced bowlers. This one's over the top. Gets it just past mid off. And final ball here for Cleary. Bates winds up, hits it high. A nice, easy catch taken in the end by Amy Edgar. She was under it there at mid off. Right idea from Bates. Trying to give her team something. Just unable to get all of that one. He's bowling. So Mills back on, and Day finds the rope. So and flays one through the covers for four. Beautifully timed. Bates again, it's a bit shorter, and Edgar this time finds the gap on the offside, through the covers it goes off the back foot for four runs. Head up in helicopters too often with Tom Selleck. Driven straight back down the ground for four. Beautiful shot by Amy Edgar. There's a big appeal goes up. That finger goes up. First wicket for Victoria. WA one for 31. Sam Bates. That's why they opened with her. They needed her to bowl tight and get the breakthrough and that's what she's done here. And she wasn't, wasn't happy with being pulled off the field at all, but his feet nicely there, Griffiths, well driven too. It's going to beat Illingsworth. A great effort from her is not enough. And recovering. Swept away, swept away nicely, and that will be four. The noise, the Indian crowds. Bates balls. Oh, it's gone straight through Lisa Griffith. Beautifully flighted, spun back. Almost the perfect left arm orthodox delivery. WA lose their second wicket. Bates gets her first. Century on Wednesday faces her first delivery now and straight away works into it nicely with a pull through square leg for four. Bates, quicker one, shorter one, cut away nicely for four runs behind point. Bates, quicker one, and it's cut behind point. This will be tight call, boundary looms and boundary wins out. Advancing down the wicket, lovely drive through the covers for four. Just got stuck a little bit. This one's pulled away, fine. Really well played by Tilly Carmichael. Great feet, great shot. Four runs. So quickly onto that one, wasn't she? Just straight, a little bit straighter, onto the off stump. Not easy to find a single to her. This one's in the air. It's over the top of Olivia Henry at mid-off. She might have just come in a fraction and undone herself there, but it's a good here from Victoria. They need one to go to hand. Down the wicket, straight back to the bowler, and there's the chance, and it's taken. The wicket they needed, it's Amy Edgar, on 34, she looked to have in this over from Sophie Day. It's in the air and taken. Thought it might have just dropped short, but in fact, Tess Flintoff was good enough there. Searching in at short cover and finds the catch to dismiss. That's a better ball. It's in the air. It's popped up nicely and the catch is taken. There's the first wicket for Millie Illingworth. We had to wait a while to see it, but it was well worth it. And look at her Vic teammates getting around her there. Millie Illingworth, cap number 258 with her first wicket for Victoria. It's the fifth wicket here today, WA 
five for 111. Didn't come off on that occasion. This one's in the air, but finds a gap at backward point. Gets past Sophie Day on the boundary. Get a win here in the early stages of this new, this new sort of look team. Appeal out. Gee, that's a good catch. Nicole Fulton down the leg side. I think it was a bottom edge. Millie Illingworth bowls short again and slashed away over the slip cordon down to the boundary for four. Cole Fulton. Anyway, we resume. This time it's all but gone through Piper Cleary. Inside edge down to the boundary for four runs. So. Chopped on. She's got another one, Illingsworth. That's her third. And that pace has proven very challenging for the WA batters. Eight wickets down now for 148. Cleary immediately looks for the lap, gets it very fine down the leg side and finds a boundary. Mid wicket in there. Tiana Axton comes across. This time reverse sweep. Appeal goes up. Finger goes up. Wickets. He might be. Oh, nice little shot there from Brickcliff. Sort of reverse lap. Peschel can really tee off here and does indeed and hammers it to mid off through the fielder's hands. Henry down to the boundary for four. Both batters on nine. Illingworth in, driven nicely through point to the boundary for four more. So. Three boundaries in a row here. Pointed out to me. Very generous. That one hit down the ground. Don't worry about chasing that one. Peschel smashes it back for her fourth boundary in the last first wicket from a bouncer earlier on today, Illingworth. This time, Sky up in the air. Who's getting under it? Haywood's normally got a good pair of hands. And Ella Haywood takes a very good catch. And Millie Illingworth, on debut, takes fourth up. Four for 41.